let me show you how to go through the initial configuration on Google Pixel 10. So once you turn it on, you just want to press on this button over here. And now we can choose our language. So let's say I'm going to choose English and United States. Now, if you have your old device, you can set it up with that old device by choosing either Pixel or Android device or iPhone or iPad. If you want to perform a clean setup, then you can just press skip over here in the bottom left corner. Now we can connect to our Wi-Fi. So you can search for Wi-Fi network over here, or you can press add new network and you can use QR code scan over here. You can also use mobile network for setup. So if you have mobile data, you can use that as well, or you can set up offline. In my case, I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. And there we go. Now we are waiting for the next screen. Now you can choose who are you setting this phone up for. So you can choose for yourself or for your child. I'm going to choose for myself. And then let's wait for another screen. Now we can sign into your Google account so you can enter your credentials over here. You can also create a new account or you can skip that process and just press skip in the bottom left corner. Afterwards, we need to agree to Google Terms of Service. And now we can set up a password for our phone. If you want to, you can change the screen lock password to other type by tapping on screen lock options over here. And you can choose pattern, pin code or password. If you want to, you can skip this as well just by pressing on skip on the left side and confirm by pressing skip again. Later on in the settings, of course, you can set up the screen lock password. Next, we have copy apps and data, so you can transfer apps, photos, contacts, and more. If you want to do so, you can go ahead and press next. Also, if you have a backup on your Google account, then you can use that as well by just going next and then follow the rest of the instructions. As you can see, in my case, I don't have any backups. So I'm just going to go back. If you don't want to copy apps and data, we can press do it later and then confirm. Now we have Google services where we can toggle location, scanning, and we can also send usage and diagnostic data. Now, in my case, I'm just going to disable scanning over here. I don't really want to use it. It is not really necessary to have it enabled all the time, and it can also save you some battery. Besides that, we have Google backup, so you can backup your photos and videos as well as other device data that is listed over here. If you don't want to backup any of these, then you can just uncheck the box and you can also just skip that and press down backup over here in the bottom left corner. Then we have to choose the default browser and search engine. So we're going to go next. And then over here, we have the choice of a browser. If you don't know which one to choose, the most popular choice is, I believe, the Google Chrome browser. However, if you pick any of them, you probably will be good anyway. So let's press set as default. And then we need to choose the default search engine, which the most popular choice is, of course, Google. So let's go ahead and press set as default. Then we have the information about limited warranty, which you might take a look at over here by choosing your country. And once you check that, or if you just want to skip that, just go ahead and press next. Then we have information about Google AI. So let's go next. We have Gemini, so you can press next. Then we have voice activation by saying, hey, Google. And if you want to, you can, of course, set it up. But in my case, I don't want to do that right now. So I'm just going to press no thanks. Now we have the magic queue, which uses AI to show you helpful details. You should be able to see it in various different apps, apparently. So this is just information. Here we can read more how it works. We can either turn it on or just skip that. I'm going to actually turn it on. Then we have Pixel Satellite SOS information, crisis alert, and we can find more information about the safety in personal safety app. Then we have Quick Share. Here we can scroll down and choose I agree, or you can just press no thanks. Up to you if you want to use it or not. Then you have Google Pay, so you can set up your card in order to use it on your phone. However, we can also do this later by using Google Wallet. So we can just skip that for now. At least I'm going to do that. Then we have additional options that you can go through if you want to set up something immediately. However, these things can also be done by going to settings. So in my case, I'm just going to press no thanks. Here you can agree to receive Google updates, for example, about new products and so on and so forth and services. I'm just going to press no thanks. I don't really want to receive that information on my email. Then we have the option to use swipe to navigate. So you can press try it in order to, well, to use the gesture navigation. And you can also press skip in order to uh, just, you know, to skip the tutorial for gesture navigation. But I can recommend you using it if you didn't use gesture navigation before. And we are pretty much all set. Uh, if you actually want to use three buttons navigation, we can choose system navigation settings here in order to choose something else. 
but that is essentially it we can go we can swipe up in order to go to the home screen and here we have our home screen so now you can start using your phone as you wish thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe